Well, what are we fixing today? Well, today, I'm not sure what I'm fixing. Oop, bumped the mic, sorry. I am going to fix stuff. So, stuff. I don't know what, can't list it all here, don't know what's gonna fit in the video, blah, blah, blah. So I'll tell you about it as I go, but today, what are we fixing today is stuff. Honeydew list at the cottage. Let's go, speed run, go! All right, first thing in is this. This is a tape measure. This is a tape measure. So let's fix this. Screwdriver. Apparently I do. It's all coming apart. So that one's just broken. All right. So here we go. This little thing is the brake down there. This is all very dirty. Okay, cover. And I'm thinking that spring is broken. Yeah, the very center of the spring is broken. Well, I should be able to fix that. Oh, correct. This is very hardened stuff. It cracks really easy. Okay. Well, this needs to go out that way. Dropped it. Let's try to get a hold of the end of the spring. There we go. Careful. All right. Now let's just get this over there. this over that slot I need to put a little catch in it I can only mean one thing. I want to put this on. I don't see any other possibility. Leave the tape off. Leave it hanging there. Yep. I gotta take this and wind it. All right. Let's put this in. So kind of all hold it together. Line this up. Oh, 
So I'm winding the spring the right way. I'm holding this tail in here so I can hook that back. So basically all I ended up doing is taking the end of the spring that was broke, sticking it back through that hole. Now I'm winding it up in the spring. I just break the spring again. It really just felt like it. Yep. Well, I hope we caught that on camera. Spring broke in the middle and it's not fixable anymore. Spring broke into three or four pieces. Done. Well, job one ended up in misery and failure. Let's try for job two. Right over there. Okay, job two. Paper. And a cutter. Now this is listed at $6.99 from Goodwill. Now we hit Goodwill on a day that it's half price, the store, like the whole store, like everything in the store, half price. So half of that, three and a half bucks, we paid for this cutter. Now, get rid of the sticker. The problem is, when you put a piece of paper in it, I tried it before, it just kind of bent the paper over. There's a big gap here. And once you get over here, it cuts. But this part of it is not in the right place. And I think it has to do with the spring, maybe? Or oh, this thing is stuck. No. It's kind of where it should be. Oh, this is loose. So in the back here is loose. Let's first take it off. See why it's loose. And then we'll look at what to do about it. Oh, just breaking loose loose. It's wood screws. When I bought this thing without even testing it, knowing that these old things are made out of cast iron and hardwood, so it's pretty hard to break it. Break it. So. Let's take those out of there. So, okay, this is what we will do. Glue. A little bit of pine. Oh, cedar, even better. Diamond, and we're just gonna take a couple of spinners off of here. There we go. That's probably better. So here's our thing. We're just going to give it a little help. This one for you. Over there. And this one for you. Over here. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. 
Okay. You hear that? It's touching already. Oops. That has to be out of the way. And looky there. better. Here's three sheets. Well, how about six sheets? Here's six sheets of paper. Let's see how this goes. Gone. All right. Yeah, you can tell because close as it goes down all of a sudden it starts touching right away and I'm not like pushing I'm not pushing sideways on this and it's got to be touching in order to cut all right jab two Done. Well, on to number, uh, my fingers don't work well, but ha, on to number three. Let's see what we're going to do here. You can tell I am outside now, and there's the neighbor's house, and there is a van. But we have another thing to do. Um, let's look at that. This is an outside dryer vent. It's been parked, well, it's been here since the building was new. Uh, you can tell as I came around the lawnmower, I've bumped a few times. Uh, maybe you can't see it. Bumped it a few times. And one of the times I came across and I bumped this and it just fell apart. But look, this is not my fault. This is the sun. It is bad. And there are signs that there are lovelies in there. So, get all this plastic off of here. Joy. Okay. I'm not quite sure what this wants. It looks like I picked the wrong way though. So let's go the other way.
just lucky so. All right. Let's stick the vent back in, or the, the mouse guard back in, and a little bit of cleanup. Well, let's see. I think this is... I think these are leaves. You know why these are leaves? Because I'm going to leave them. Okay, what are we on? Number four? Four. This one's an easy one. Uh, if you were a fan of my videos you watched a while back, I put a power brake into a car that I was going to leave up here at the cottage. Well, here's the car. It's been left at the cottage. The power brake works good. The problem is that when you kill the power to the car, you killed the clock and the boss. Now look, it says, if you're in California, you should not eat this because it'll give you cancer. I thought that was funny. Anyway, this is the new clock for the car. We don't have to set it, but once, maybe twice a year. Ah, there you go. Let's do that. Right here is the clock. You can't see it, but there's an LED, LCD clock right there. All right, so let's open this up and see what we got. It's an Amazon special. I don't know what it is. Exactly other than clock. She said she wants clock. So she bought clock. And it's 11. Already, it's 11. So, let's just snap out of there. Okay, so looks like. Yep, snaps out of there. And then this will have to go. I don't know. That's where it was. This looks like it'll be out of the way of everything. Maybe over here is better because the steering wheel might block it for the for that user. So it's going right there. Let's zoom you a little bit. Okay, that's my, my decisions. We're used to the clock being here. I could put it here, but the steering wheel and stuff is right there, and the, if you're driving, you might not be able to see it. But over here, I'm pretty sure you will. So, it's going over here. Straight enough for government work. Now let's try to set this thing. 12, well I don't even know what time it is. Oh. I don't have the key. So I'll have to set it another day, but looks like 9 a.m., 29, 9.29 a.m. We'll just set this another day. Next time I get in here, the boss will have a Something she'll want to set it against anyway. Let's put this back in. Oh, this is nice. A little stand. 
to bed, I lost it. There we go. Clock in the car, number four. Number six, I think. I don't know. If I counted wrong, it's because I'm an old guy. Remember that. It's my advantage, I'm an old guy. I can forget shit, so. Now, the next one, which I think is number six. We're in the bathroom. Yes, there's the shower stall. And there's a shower head. Now, the boss decided she don't like the shower head. Me, I can handle the shower head. It doesn't bother me. She doesn't like shower head. So, we're gonna, oh, yesterday, we spent the whole day out at a town called Peshtigo, Wisconsin, not far from where we're at. They had a citywide rummage sale. In the rummage sale, we found three loose shower heads, handhelds. Total cost, $11.50. We went to Menards shortly afterwards. Total cost for one was like 40 bucks. So we're gonna put in one of them. If it don't work, I got a spare or two. <laughs> Three we have, hopefully two we put up. Go. This is the one that looked the newest. It even says it's new. Five dollars, new. All right, let me get this off. What do I need to do? Need some kind of a tool. When you don't want it to happen, easier said than done when you do. Shower head. This Teflon tape is one of the biggest contributors to plugged up things than anything. This is meant to be a thread lubricant and people think it's a sealer. It ain't. If you want a sealer you gotta get some goop and some, I don't know what they call that stuff. It's like sticky stuff. Stuff for gas lines. That will, that's a sealer. But you know what? I'm still going to put more in here because that looks like it needs lubrication. Now I'm going to thread it on this way so I have to finish this way so I have to go around this way. I don't really want any hanging over the edge. I just want to go back into threads. Okay. Now here I'm assuming that one of these washers goes here as a hose. So both of those washers go there. I'm gonna assume this goes in here. So this is going to go, this is a restrictor. It's gonna go up in there. And this goes on there. I could turn this as I need, so I just need to make that tight. <laughs> Hand tight should be enough. Right. Like so I got these two washers and this hose. So let's take one of the washers and the hose. This 
this one threads on this way. So this has to go around. This way. So that that ends up that way. Okay. And this. here get on there that is sad and ugly all at the same time That was full speed. Okay. Well, I thought it was done. Not yet. Huh. Remember what I said about maybe removing that restrictor? Yep. We're working on well water, not city water. And I checked my well, and there is a gallons per minute limit, but the shower head ain't going to hit it. So, okay, you can just go on the ground. Oh, and it's dirty too. So let's The restrictor. And water. Okay, that one's done. Now let's do number six and a half. Or, yeah, six and a half, yeah. All right, other bathroom, number six and a half. Let's change that one out. Six and a half, right? Go. All right, how does this water work? Coming out there, coming out there. Get that over that way a little more. That's in there. All right, well, whatever. A lot of options. So, number six and a half is behind me. 
I got one more, but I think it's a little bit more than a speed run. So, with that said, six and a half, let's count them seven, seven, seven honeydew projects. All done in a matter of, well, in real time, two hours. So, hey, that's pretty good. Good for a cottage uh, cottage vacation speed run, all about like that. So if you think that's a pretty good job, give me a thumbs up. I mean, look, I worked up a pretty good sweat over this. I should get a thumbs up for a pretty good sweat. Uh, or, you know, if you're really impressed, subscribe. That'd be awesome. I like to have more subscribers. And, you know, anything else you want to do, check below. There's things you can do to help. And there's places to comment, and if you need help from me, I got links, all the stuff, all the stuff, all the stuff. So, now, that being said, until next time, make sure if your honey asks you to do, you do the honeydew. Bye.